cover this one too. So as we dig through stuff, we're noticing some of the other uh, little anomalies in terms of doing this whole thing. Um, so I have a DMC notice here from Linkbusters on behalf of Isotrope from November 27, 2015. Here's the interesting part, right? They just say Isotrope's own, you know, no, no originally or no allegedly infringing URLs. So I don't know why they would have put this in. They have some uh, um, infringing here and then some infringing here, then some not. Um, so I'm not really sure what they're thinking of doing here because without an infringing URL, we don't really know what they are trying to pull or otherwise the rest of this is pretty straightforward um, in terms of what they've got. But the interesting part though is that we really do have some, you know, it's like, okay, um, isotope. So we go, let's go take a look and see if it's here, right? Yeah, so there it is, it's, it's there. And it looks like it's software. <clears throat> and let's go see if it's in Tor search. And then, uh, nope, yep, yeah, oh yeah, it is there. And let's see if it's there as well. But without an infringing URL, there's nothing to do here. It's obviously on the networks, right? There's places to go, there's people to see, there's things to download, um, you know, lots of little things that goes along with it. It's definitely in Darknet. It's definitely in BitTorrent. Um, but yeah, without the allegedly infringing, why did they even bother? All right, so that's what I'm trying to figure out here. And this is what's starting to really confuse me about this database, right? Some of them are full, complete, good to go. We've got some really nice ones. But this one's missing so much information that I honestly, that you can't act on it. There's nothing to act on here. So I don't know why they would have pushed it through and wasted the money. That's my story.